Hi, this is Nita Strauss from the Alice Cooper Band, and I'm really excited to be here today with you guys at hguitar.com. Today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite Alice Cooper songs, and actually the first Alice Cooper song I ever heard, and that is Poison. Check it out. So there, of course, you have the classic poison intro riff. You're going to start on the fifth fret and use the root and the fifth here. Stretch up to the seventh fret and the ninth fret. Now, an important thing to get in the nuance of this song, which I actually didn't do when I first joined this band, is on the third time, you want to slide down to that C position. So, so make sure you do that after the first two times of the riff because that really gives it that sort of signature feel and signature flavor and it'll make it sound a lot more like the original. So the next part we're going to take a look at is the verse of the song. And uh, you really want to make sure that your finger position is tight on these chords here. <laughs> So I'll play it with the song and you'll be able to check it out a little more closely. Of course, don't play during this part. This is Alice's part. So here it goes. And then you end, of course, palm muting on that D. So, and gradually let it up. Uh, so here's those chords again, more slowly. So the next part we're going to look at is probably the most confusing part of the song. And uh, Poison it seems like a really simple song, but actually when you try to play it, it's definitely not. Uh, and this pre-chorus changes keys a lot of time. So definitely uh, keep that in mind and uh, watch me closely for the changes now. So let's go back to that pre-chorus first, and I'll play it slowly. So as you can see, it does have a lot of changes in it. Each one starts on a different fret. So just pay attention to it. You'll get it. It's not that hard after the first few times, that is. Uh, and then, of course, you have the chorus riff, uh, which is played under the, uh, under the chords. And it's pretty similar to the intro, but a little different. So that looks like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
don't try to play the intro riff because it will sound wrong and it won't sound good. So uh, yeah, you've got it slow there. And I guess now we'll move on to the most fun part, which is the solo. So now we have the most fun part, the solo section, and you want to start with a nice deep dive bomb, which is like the most fun thing to do for all of us that have a, a whammy bar on the guitar. And you want to come out of the dive bomb onto the fifth fret of the A string. So. For this next part, you want to come up to the 10th fret and you can go to the neck pickup like I do if you want, you don't have to. And start with a double stop. Now I'll show you two licks you can do for this next part. If you want to do it like the record, you're going to do it like this. That's basically what you want to do. That's each part. Now let's take a look at the song as a whole.
Thank you guys so much for watching my lesson today. You can practice along with the tracks, of course, as always, at the links. And uh, good luck. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the road very soon. Shred on.